remember when i said this last month now if you're buying tron which is the worst of the shit coins you will ever hear in your life to back a stable coin it might not be a good idea to get into that stable coin yes and now tron's stable coin have depegged just yesterday today we gotta talk about it stay tuned like and subscribe let's get right on to it so tron dow's reserves you know have just deployed some money to help their stable coin peg again because they just been attacked i've been warning people last month when i made this video about it go back and check it out uh it is currently at 98 cents pretty much and look at what happened it was a dollar and then all of a sudden it dropped it looks like the same actors that attacked do Kwan, these are the same guys probably behind the Tron Dao attack because as you can see, Tron Dao has just been attacked. Justin Sun's USDD has just depegged, causing a 16% Tron collapse. And Sun is now out there telling people that he's ready to inject $2 billion to fight back. Who does that sound like? Doesn't that remind you of Do Kwan just last month? I told you guys that uh, Justin Sun, he has the same pattern of behavior when it comes to these things and him and Do Kwan, they're pretty much twins but the way they behave you already know you should know what it is by now so he went ahead and tweeted this and said uh for the market extreme conditions Tronda reserve has received just now 700 million usdc just to defend the usdd peg now usdd collateral rates is nearly 300 percent and look at <laughs> look at this people are flaming him on twitter this guy says yeah for the rug and of course for trx and this guy is sending him the lunar look at this guys steady labs <laughs> received from do Kwan everybody's just reminding him that this is a terrible idea i mean when it comes to making these moves he chose the wrong time man and this guy sent him this was the best part this epic tweet here of do Kwan, literally minutes before terra luna depegged and dropped he was making tweets telling people hey don't panic i'm deploying more capital and this is steady labs you know another day at the office while they were being attacked at the very same time i think that justin sun and do Kwan and that they don't realize that whoever's attacking them has more money than them that's the main thing if you have more money than a currency you can control and manipulate that currency and that's the same thing they've done with Tron stable coin they went over there bought it at real cheap and then dump it on the market on another exchange yes it is called a short squeeze look it up all of these little crypto whales you know we always had our crypto whales anyway they manipulated us for so many years they manipulated the market the market was manipulated for so many years but these whales are running out of cash and i'm beginning to think that wall street whales are coming hard at these cryptocurrency firms i.e you know these big crypto companies tron or whatever they are coming at them to teach them a lesson because the wall street boys not only do they have hundreds of millions of dollars but they also can gang up against you and use billions of dollars to depeg your little stable coin and destroy you this is why i was telling people last month please do not get into tron dow reserves because they are promising you 70 percent apy you know it's cool those returns are amazing but at the end of the day you don't want to get lunar because this here is not pretty this is just the beginning i've talked about it last month this is just the beginning it depacked all the way down to 97 cents and then they still have not recovered it's been a day since this story just happened that goes to show you that justin sun i don't think he have enough collaterals backing this stable coin if you need collaterals to back any of these stable coins especially uncollateralized collaterals that is a major major risk in this market and this is what i was putting emphasis on i don't care if it's busd usdd on all of these coins and tokens they are algorithmic stable coins even tether it is not safe at this point because we are in 2022 and look at this this market is not looking good bro we just collapsed and i've been warning people since i took my profits out of crypto back in december to take your profits and get out why because 2017 we was left holding the bag of bitcoin at december 2017 
$19,000 all the way down to $3,000 at the bottom back in March of 2018, the following year. Now, accumulated four years, made a ton load of money. 2021 was great, but towards the end of 2021 in December, once we had our double peak, second rally, Bitcoin at 69,000. I did not wait for Bitcoin to drop under 60,000 to sell and get out. Right now, 20% in BTC, 10% in altcoins because, you know, risk plays long term. And then 70% I'm in cash right now. I'm pretty much 70% out of crypto. And this was a good call. I did that way back in December, November time frame. And that was the right call because I knew that 2022 was going to be the year of the bears. I've been telling you guys this for so long. So those who are waiting for this to bottom to buy back in, you will be the legends of tomorrow. Simple. This market can bleed. We've seen all of this happen. This is history repeating itself anyway. This, I'm so immune to these kind of things. It doesn't phase me anymore. If I see, if I wake up one day and see Bitcoin drops like this much, 10%, 20% or whatever, you know, the Celsius mantra fiasco. Maybe I'll make a video tomorrow about Celsius um, just to explain what went on with Mazinski and all of that. But yeah, it doesn't phase me. Ethereum also down 7%, 8%, doesn't matter. Uh, this is just another normal day in crypto. We've seen red, bloody. Um, the world is facing financial turmoil and it is... Whatever hitting the stock markets is affecting crypto. Crypto is not immune to what's going on around the globe. So we are not in our little bubble. Those who are celebrating talking about, well, some DGEN players are standing up. Just wait and watch for how long because your DGEN plays also could be hit if the wider crypto market is taking these big hits because how long you think these things are gonna last, who knows? As once again, we are in 2022. This is the year of regulations. I just want regulatory clarity. I want Doquan to be held responsible for causing people to lose millions of dollars. And Justin Sun also, you know, he's taking this big risk, um, trying to take the Doquan route. How long do you think he have until Tron gets attacked again? Meaning the Tron USDD stable coin. And if, if this happen, if it depegs, this is going to be pretty bad, bro, because everybody heard about Terra Luna, especially all of these regulators. They all been talking about algorithmic stable coins, algorithmic stable coins. It's been all over the news and they are coming after crypto, especially this year. I'm telling you, once they finish hammering these layer ones, they're going to come down on DeFi pretty, pretty hard. So you need to be extra cautious. I am always asking people to at least allocate a little bit of your capital into cash so that you can catch these bottoms who knows if we drop further down bitcoin people are talking about bitcoin to 18k twelve thousand dollars come on if bitcoin drops down to twelve thousand dollars you know how many people are gonna sell houses and cars and teslas and everything just to buy a twelve thousand dollar bitcoin chances are you may not ever see that again in history but then again it could happen crypto always gives you a blessing there's always an opportunity one man's crash is another man's opportunity in crypto so don't let these little crashes phase you because they are only temporary these temporary bleeds in that now it's not going to go on for years even in a bear market you do get some relief rallies so chances are that a relief rally is coming soon but not within the next week or so because you might see some long term some short term downward red in the market but hey it's all speculations with crypto i want you guys to visualize the halvening of 2024 that's what i want you to do because then you will have the power to dollar cost average you can dca into the market all of these layer ones long-term plays man look at avalanche i mean avax is literally at 16 dollars right now about two months ago avalanche was at a hundred and something dollars so avalanche have to stand the test of time in my opinion this is its first bull market we don't know how and where it is going to bottom when avalanche bottoms at prices possibly lower than these then you know you can buy some avax no financial advice and hopefully watch it because people are building on avalanche man if you go to DeFi llama despite all of this mayhem avalanche 
has 2.9 billion dollars almost 3 billion dollars in tvl locked in it this is at one point this was about 13 billion dollars this was just towards the end of last year in december of 2021 so you best believe that DeFi, degens everything will be built on top of avax so don't count avax out it might go back to a hundred dollars again you never know so yes that was tron dow um stable coins if i was you don't be chasing these high apys leave your money in your bank account at least it's safe there stop playing with these algorithmic stable coins because chances are they are headed downwards and if regulations come it's just gonna make it even worse with that being said like up the video share it subscribe for some crypto content i have been mr nakamoto crypto and i'm out